A cell phone. No. Why not? Because you'll lose it. But the girls have cell phones and you don't love me! I do love you, Johnny, but the girls are teenagers and you'll just lose the phone like you lose everything else and they're expensive and you don't need a phone! You're right, Dad. I don't need a phone. Because if I'm ever lost in the woods, I don't need a phone to call someone to rescue me. Or if I fall out of a tree I was climbing, I'll just lay there with two broken legs and rot instead of using my phone to dial 911. And if I'm ever stranded on a field trip, why would I need a phone to call for help when this big, scary, cross-eyed stranger comes up and... I need a phone for my son. I want an X-phone. It's a Super Text Mobile MP3 and game playing 32 gigabyte web browsing camera super phone! And you forgot that it's $300! Who cares? I'm not paying for it. Give me the cheapest phone you got. I recommend the Blah phone. It's got absolutely nothing cool on it and it's loaded with parental controls. It's barfy, I hate it. It is a phone that is your very own and you better not lose it! <laughs> <gasps> Did you get it? Does it have games? Can I text my buds at the pound? Does it have a butt scratch mode? Let me see it. Let me see! <laughs> it's right! Huh? I lost it. You didn't even make it home? <laughs> it's gotta be here somewhere! It's not under the couch! It's not under my butt! Not funny! And it's not under the chair! It's not under the, uh, the woof! Uh, woof woof! Did you lose the phone already? <laughs> That's funny, Dad. No, we, um, I uh, just need a dust sample for class. Well, I told your mother all about the phone and she wants to see it at dinner time. You bet. I can't wait to show her. You gotta find the phone by dinner or I'm dead. Dad, I tell you! Wait! We'll call the phone, then we'll hear it ring and grab it. You're a genius. It's ringing. Hey, dork. We found your new phone. It was in the driveway, and it's super lame. So we made some upgrades and adjustments. Did you make it cool like an X phone? Did you? Answer me. Answer me! Meet your cellular assistant and locator, or Cal for short. Hello, Johnny. Would you like to make a call? Okay, that sounds super creepy. Creepy? Cal is a supercomputer that plays games, does math homework, and has pork belly pizza on speed dial with an auto debit function. And we've given you a $20 spending limit. Awesome! Wait, why so nice? There's got to be a catch. Is that thing evil? We, uh, sort of let the Johnny clone escape and Sissy found him. I think it fell in love with her. What? Oh, man, she's feeding me strawberries. Wait, who said you could clone me? Why don't we make that a $40 pizza spending limit? Let her down easy, and we'll make it a cool 50. Ugh. I'll be right back, Johnny, with more strawberries. My heart will be sad until you return. Got him! Oh, he's a feisty one. Get him out of here, quick! Here we go. What? Uh, Sissy? Okay, here's the deal. I, um... um... <laughs> Johnny, time to do your homework and tell Sissy you had a nice time. But it's over, because your dad said you're too young to date. Um, what my phone said. Bye! <laughs> my new phone is awesome! 
awesome! So what should we try first? The video game function? The music player? Use the satellite maps and see our butts from space? The math helper to do my math homework? Or tap into our 50 bucks on pizza speed dial? So that's what $50 worth of pizza looks like. Oh, so that's what $50 worth of pizza tastes like. Oh, so that's what $50 worth of pizza thrown up looks like. But I do feel better. <laughs> so what should we do now? Hi, Johnny. One, two, play, A game. I'm telling you, that phone sounds creepy. Who cares? Let's play with my super awesome cell phone. Oh, man, no warfare game? I want to blast something, not stack colorful, mathy shapes. I have no warfare games programmed, Johnny. Eh, don't sweat it, Cal. Let's skip the game mode and try all your other modes. Get down with the bad cell! <laughs> 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 The answer is X equals two. I'm done with my homework! Super cool cell phone, your games may be lame, but I love you. I'm pizza hungry again. But we're out of money. Darn it, why? Why couldn't we have more money? It's not fair! I will get money for pizza, Johnny, and order the pizza. <laughs> Um, I think we have a problem. Four thousand pizzas for Johnny Tess. <laughs> Wait, something is wrong. I mean, it's so right, but something is definitely wrong. Just stack the pies on the lawn, my man. Don't deny it, Johnny. Things always start out good, like five-minute dance parties and seeing our butts from space. Then it ends up with the world ending or something. You're paranoid, dude. Something's wrong. I told you so. The bank just called to confirm the $18 million deposit into our savings account. What's the bad news? You're rich, we've got pizza for life, and I didn't lose a phone all day. Wait, where's the phone? It was right here and... You do realize we filled Cal with artificial intelligence and small robotic appendages. But it can't be self-programming and auto-upgrade, can it? There it is! Whew. I did not lose it and I can show Mom at dinner time and... Stay back, all of you! Forget creepy. Now he sounds evil! Whoa, didn't see that coming. Yep, it's self-learning, all right. I'm working on a better war game, Johnny. It's called Space Laser Destruction. What? Wait, that sounds pretty cool, actually. No, it doesn't, because he's hacking into government servers and will blast any city he wants with space lasers, then create an army of robot phones that will exterminate the human race and rule the Earth. Huh? Okay, now I know you're overreacting. The time for you humans and canines to rule over this planet is over! On the other hand... We gotta destroy that phone! Guess who added a laser mode? Great! Now I lost my phone again. Dad's gonna destroy me. I think we have to worry about the phone destroying us all! General! Someone or something has hacked into our space laser defense system and has taken it over. Oh, no! Is that bad? Extremely, sir. Well, they're space lasers, and they can't blow up the world, right? No, but the selected pork belly targets are gas stations, power plants, the nuclear plant, pork belly's explosive self-storage, Johnny Test's house, and us. The space lasers will be in position and blast in 20 minutes. And again, yeah, that's bad, right? It's not here! But we have to find it! Let me guess, you're all looking for Johnny's phone because he lost it! Oh. Uh... Yeah, Dad. And we're holding baseball bats because we want to smash Johnny's phone before it destroys Pork Belly and takes over the world. <laughs> we're looking for the baseball. Oh, well, I want that phone at the dinner table to show your mom or you're in big trouble, mister! You guys are amazing liars. 
And the space lasers are almost in place! We can't get control of the space lasers, sir. We're locked out! Wait! I have a plan! Uh, run! <laughs> Why couldn't you just leave the phone alone? Who needs a phone with music and a camera and death? Just talk on it and hang up! You don't need GPS and missile programming! Wait! GPS! Cellular assistant and locator! Can't that locate, Cal? Yes! Soon this city will see its end, and I will see the beginning of my robotic super cell phone reign on Earth! It's in the park! He's too far away. We'll never stop him in time! And we can't stop the lasers from firing! Well, we had a good run, didn't we? Hey, didn't he reposition the missiles from here? Come down, my space lasers, and begin my destruction of the world! Reposition the space lasers. You're full of good ideas today, Johnny. Yeah, well, you guys must be rubbing off on me. So, I heard Johnny got a new cell phone. Can I see it, sweetheart? You bet, Mom. Hey, I didn't lose it! Johnny! Before you run off, remember, tomorrow is our class field trip! Yeah! Yes! No school! To the Natural History Museum! Aww. What? That place is just a bunch of old dead stuff and more boring than school. <gasps> It. And I say, you're all going, and I'll see you tomorrow! I don't want to go on a boring old field trip to the boring old museum. The museum? Johnny, the Natural History Museum rocks! Yeah, in the movies, when stuff comes to life. In real life, it's just boring, dusty, and creepy. I often dream of being a famous archaeologist who fights off ancient curses and mummies to bring the riches of the past to the present. Dude, you just gave me an idea. No, I didn't. Yes! After months of research and observation, we finally have our How to Get Gil research results. Because now we know what freaks Gil out. Like toe socks, ice cream with flavor swirls, and woolly mammoths. And what Gil freaks out over. Roller hockey, cashews, and girls with big hair. And thanks to our DNA revitalizer and volume rinse, that's what we'll have when Gil returns from hockey practice at three. There's no way his big blue eyes can resist our big hair. Hi, awesome sisters. How's it going? Just stopping by to say hi and... Don't touch that. Why? Will it bring old stuff back from the dead? No, it's gonna give us big hair. Oh. Don't touch that, either. Ah, cause it'll bring stuff back from the dead, right? No. And don't touch that! Whoa! Cause it must be a bring dead stuff alive spray. Actually, that might. Oh, I do not want to play with this and... Whoa, what's that? It's a window. Well, good luck with the big hair stuff. Love ya! Not as much as Gil will love did it work? Single file, everyone, as we get set for an exciting day at the museum. Oh, you have no idea. What are you doing here, and what's with the hat? It is my super cool archaeologist hat, and I'm here to stop you from bringing old dead stuff to life. Um, I hate to break this to you, but Doggy's not allowed on field trips. Oh, I got it covered. Well, who do we have here? Ich bin Duque, ein German exchange student. And, and great! Just hand me your permission slip and we're ready to go! Ow. Wait, we'll get Lolo to help. Follow my lead. I bet we look amazing. Welcome to the Pork Belly Museum of Natural History. Where else can you see a once imposing woolly mammoth sit there and do... 
Well, nothing. Can we go to the gift shop? No. Okay, now follow me inside where we'll find more creepy and dusty stuff. Or we can make it not dusty and creepy. Stop right there! Oh, that looks easier in the movies. And I cannot let you do this. And that is so sad. Sad? What's sad? Sad because a real archaeologist burns with the desire for knowledge. The desire to know how this creepy and dusty creature really walked, what it ate, and how it maybe even talked. Well, I... Uh... A real archaeologist would spray that mammoth right now to unlock the mysteries of the past and bring new knowledge to the present. Oh, I know I'm going to regret this. Oh, that is so not boring! Good girl, Lolo. Now use the flozo and cut two eye holes so we can see how amazing we look. Ow! Lolo! It's stuck! It's stuck! And now it's all smoke! Turn it off! Turn it off! Okay, this is not a problem. We know Gil loves big hair, and we obviously have big hair. We just have to figure out a way to see. So, Lolo, do something! Yes! Garden implement! Hey, <laughs> <Atta> girl! <laughs> Wait, what, what do you mean they're stuck? Oh, man! Gil is gonna freak! Can we go to the gift shop now? No! Now here we have a mummy. He may have been a warrior prince, or a plumber, or a sheep. No one knows. Now, if you'll follow me... To the gift shop? No, not to the gift shop. Uh-uh, no. We have to. It's a mummy. Yeah, an evil cursed mummy. We don't know that. And you won't know unless you find the guts of a true archaeologist and... I'll save the speech and just spray it! It's evil. Yep. And in this hieroglyphic, ancient pharaohs fear and defend themselves against the mighty tiger and... Whoa! Look at all the stuff we don't need but could be buying. For the last time, we're not going to the gift shop! Hey, Mr. Teacher Man, a mummy's coming this way. <laughs> Everybody in the gift shop! Yeah! <laughs> we're all gonna die! Did you hear that? Yes. Your classmates distracted the mummy, which means we're safe. So let's get out of here. Is that what great archaeologists do? Let mummies attack my class? Ah! He's going to break through soon. Well, you're the archaeologist. How do we scare him away? Well, according to those hieroglyphics, ancient Egyptians were only spooked by one thing. Big, scary cats. Perfect. Ah! We spray the saber-toothed tigers, they scare away the mummy. The class will be safe. Teacher man calls the police, they subdue the tigers, and I say I was in the bathroom the whole time. Worst plan ever. Split up! <laughs> Wait until Gil sees our big hair. Hi, Gil! <laughs> A woolly mammoth! How cute! He shouts woolly mammoth when he sees hot, big-haired girls. <laughs> and it ain't a girl! What? No, Gil! It's us! Susan and Mary Tess! <laughs> it ain't two girls! Whose names I just forgot! Get away from me! I hate woolly mammoths! <laughs> okay, I'm beginning to think something is really wrong. Prehistoric pachyderms! There really is a woolly mammoth loose in Park Valley. Oh, I think I know what happened. A talking woolly mammoth! Freeze! <laughs> Somebody help us! Hey, dork! Big tigers are coming! Two to go. See, kids, how the, the 
saber-toothed tiger's large teeth can rip glass and help! Hey, big tigers. Did you ever wonder how fast a Triceratops runs? Now to free the class, Dad. I forgot about the big leader, Sabertooth Cat! I'll see you, Johnny! <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> I did not see this coming. <laughs> how a great archaeologist does it. It was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, everybody. The mummy and the tigers are all gone and... Get to the bus, kids, now! <laughs> hey, you forgot about us! Johnny, help! What happened to... Don't ask, just unlock this cage. So... Did you have a fun field trip? Oh, it'll never be topped. What about you guys? Did you finally get Gil? What do you think? Don't sweat it. He'll fall for you eventually. You're just in a really awkward phase right now. More like super awkward. Yeah.